if you want to extract business value out of AI, you have to give it the context of your own data. The most practical way of doing so is through RAG or Retrieval Augmented Generation. That is why whenever I see a new or tested or promising RAG tool or framework, I try to cover it on the channel. And that is why I am going to cover this Como RAG locally on our system and we will be testing it out. Plus, I am going to describe what exactly this is doing and how it is different from the other RAG frameworks. This is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. Please like the video and subscribe and consider becoming a member as that helps a lot. Let's first try to understand what exactly is this. It is a retrieval augmented generation framework built for long document and multi-document tasks like question answering, information extraction and even knowledge graph building. Como RAG combines LLMs with powerful embedding models, graph augmented retrieval, and a modular pipeline for chunking, re-ranking, and evaluation. You can run it with OpenAI models or locally via VLLM. I have tried it with VLLM, but there are a lot of bugs. Now that is why I am going to show it to you with OpenAI's model, which is of course a paid option, but we will get into it when we come there. Now, if you don't know what RAG is, it is a technique where a model first retrieves relevant snippets from a knowledge source and then uses those snippets as grounded context to generate answers. This keeps responses factual and up to date without stuffing entire corpora into a model's context window. Classic RAG is typically retrieve once, answer once, that's it. Embed the query, pull top K chunks, stuff them into prompt and let the model respond. That is your typical RAG, but not with Como RAG. If you look at this diagram, this gives you a bit more um, practical overview of how exactly this works. So Como RAG go goes beyond that single shot pattern with a cognition inspired stateful loop. Reason, probe, retrieve, consolidate, and then resolve. When the model hits an impasse, or obstacle on long intricate narratives, it launches iterative cycles that create targeted probing queries, fetch fresh evidence and merge it into a global memory pool. This dynamic memory workspace accumulates and fuses information across cycles. With graph-based reasoning and re-ranking, it enables global comprehension over 200k plus token stories and multi-doc settings. They have also shared some of the benchmarking in their paper, which you can go uh, to from the repo and I will drop the link in video's description and you will see that in those benchmarks, this type of design yields consistent gains up to 11% over strong RAG baselines, especially on complex questions that require cross chapter or cross document reasoning. So fairly promising, I would say, because that matches with a lot of real world use cases. Let's get it installed. I'm going to use this Ubuntu system. And as I said, I'm going to use it with open AI based models. Now, I would highly recommend as a first step, you create a virtual environment so that you will keep everything there. So I'm just going to go with this virtual environment. If you're looking to rent a VM or CPU or GPU on very affordable price, you can find the link to Mast Compute in video's description with a discount coupon code of 50% for a range of GPUs. Next up, let's git clone the repo. And as I said, I'm going to drop the link to it in video's description. After that, we need to install all the requirements. Now it installs quite a lot of things, so let's wait. And while it installs it, let me also introduce you to the sponsors of the video who are iGent, which is the world's first multi-agent workforce desktop application, empowering you to build, manage, and deploy a custom AI workforce that can turn your most complex workflows into automated tasks, and you will find their link in video's description. Okay, let's go back and see what is happening onto our terminal. It is still installing the stuff. So let's wait. And everything is installed. Next up, let me quickly set my open AI's API key. As I said that it is a paid option. If you are following along, 
you would need to go to open platform.openai.com and also grab your api key and be aware of the cost because these rag frameworks and pipelines can get fairly expensive fairly soon depending upon your data and the api call um, the model makes so make sure that you put some sort of threshold or alerting so that you don't really get caught by surprise having said that let me set my key and clear the screen now before i run this como rag and show you how it works i think it is a good idea to actually have a quick look at the code so you see that in the repo they have two scripts one is main openai.py and main vllm.py so if you want to run it with vllm you would need to go with this one where um, they also have mentioned in their repo their remote tokenizer and all that stuff is still not working and there are a few other bugs which i encountered so i think let's wait for the vllm one to arrive for openai one this script is primarily loading all the models and if i just quickly go down this is where you specify your keys either you can get it from your environment that is what i'm going to do and this is where you specify your model so you see that for llm i'm using this and you you can also download a model from hugging face something i'll just show you for example you can go with this pge large one again a very good um, embedding model which converts your text into numerical representation so that they could be understood by the model for the grounded nuanced semantic search and then these are the results which it is going to put on the local system i'm just going to go with a very very small cinderella data set and i'll just pick one or two so that at least we could show uh, it from end to end so that is what this script is doing so for instance, what I'm going to do here, I'm just going to batch it over a long text from Cinderella dataset where, for example, I will just be putting it in corpus.json-l and QS and that is how the dataset is uh, configured. If you don't know about datasets, just go to my channel and search. Also, then it is going to do that iterative loop through its own code. So if you go to the source directory, you will see this como rag script which primarily does that iterative loop with probe retrieve fuse memory to reason across chapters and documents across that data set and then it also mixes something called as chunks uh, semantic summaries and timeline to resolve complex queries so that is the whole purpose of it i'm not going to go through each line of the code but uh, what i have described in short in simple words is what this tool is doing so let's go to the terminal and run it and by the way this is that cinderella text i was talking about it's a long long text which is present in this uh, data set directory okay so let's go to the terminal now and let's run that main underscore open ai.py script and it is loading everything so after downloading the model you can see that it is indexing those documents the cinderella one and our questions and then it has saved six records to the chunk which we are using so we are using gpt model here it is doing a lot of validations and because it's an api based one so it is making multiple um tries there so because there is a lot of throttling which happens with open ai so but it was able to recover from that and then it has saved the summaries here so and also the stats so let's check it out and when you go to the output directory and then you go to this final summary you will see that it has answered the questions which we had asked so what did Cinderella's mother tell her before she died? This is the answer, very concise, very summarized, and so on and so forth with other questions. So if you go here and then go to this qas.jsonl, these were the questions which were asked from this cinderella.txt and they have been answered right according to going through all the chapters and giving a concise answer so that is the beauty of this a komoro rag the quality is very high i think if they could just get it right with the local models an amazing tool i believe that's it please like the video subscribe and consider becoming a member as that helps a lot thank you for all the support